Hello and welcome back for another saxophone tutorial from Nottingham Music Excellence. So in this video I'm going to play Promenade, the A2 piece from the Grade 1 ABRSM saxophone book. And after I've played the piece I'm going to do a little tutorial and talk about the detail of the music and what you need to do to make this sound really awesome. And then you can have a go at playing along with the accompaniment yourself. Now it's a little bit tricky one, this one. So I have uploaded two different speeds of the accompaniment, so choose the one that suits you the most. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoy the tutorial. Here we go. Okay, so you've heard the music, let's say a few words about the detail. Now, I have to say this one slightly caught me out. And when I initially played this through, I thought, oh, this is a nice um, sort of jolly little tune. And uh, I selected this for one or two pupils, not having, not having listened to the accompaniment. Um, and it slightly caught me out. It, it's got a bit more, I think we should, could say, it's got a bit more of a modern contemporary sort of sound to it, this one. And it didn't sound anything like I thought it was going to sound. Um, and it's actually, it's a bit more difficult than I thought it was going to be. So let's go over the detail. So first of all, we've got, it says MF Mercato. Now Mercato means heavily marked. So it's not just sort of dum, dum, dum. It's not just sort of jolly like, like the first piece, the staccato in the study in C. Um, it's a bit more Mercato. So it's a bit more sort of bum, bum, bum. So I think it, it means that it wants you to sort of play it a little bit more forcefully, a little, more, a little bit more heavy. Um, so really short on those notes. Now here, golden opportunity to learn your side key C. Um, now personally, I don't think you want to... Da, 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 da. I mean, it works absolutely fine, but a brilliant opportunity to learn Ba, 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 so you've got the B and then just hit the middle side key there for your side key C. Um, now if you haven't used that key yet, have a go at it. It really does, when you've got passages like that and it doesn't go above the C, it just makes it so much easier. Obviously you've got used to, you've got to get used to sort of where to put your hand to find it, but it's well worth the practice. It does come up all the time. Um, so have a go at that. I would recommend using side key C on that. Um, and then it does the same thing on the next two bars. So let's play that. So we've got... Oh, notice I've done just the standard middle finger C on the first bar, but then B, C, B with the side key C. Notice as you're playing that, the piano's going, jet, jet. piano's doing some offbeat things there to kind of put you off. And then on the second line, D, F sharp, A. So just be careful as you go a bit higher in the instrument into that next octave. Just try and get the same quality of staccato if you can. So again, just as clear, just as staccato, really neat and short. Now, the second half, this is where it gets a bit more tricky. So we've got, um, it doesn't look like much on the page, but it just says Poco Rao. So. So that's quite a low note for grade one, down to bottom D. So just be careful, we keep a nice sort of full sound down there. Um, use up your air on that pause note and then and then you're back on the tune again. 
Okay, so let me just say a few words about the accompaniment that I've uploaded. In order for you to play it with a backing track, I've had to add in a click or two to make it to make it work. So after you've played the pause note on the bottom D, I've then inserted a click, bum, bum, to bring you back into time again. So it'll be click, bum, 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 and it'll just give you half a chance of being able to synchronize that G back with the piano again. Okay, let's just have a little talk about the second half of this, because this I think is a little bit tricky for a grade one to sort of know how this is going to fit. Okay, so let's just have a listen. So after the pause, so nice and easy there. So you'd have to be really careful with your counting there to get that right. So I think if you mark that on where you play bump, 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 your four quavers going up, just mark a minimum there that you're going to listen out for on the piano part and then count like crazy on bars 17 and 18 and then bump and then you're in with your fortissimo. So just, I think just watch how that bit fits with the piano. It's a little bit easier actually to play it with the piano than it is to play it with the backing track. Um, on that on this particular piece so I think to summarize um, just be really precise with the notes and make sure of course that the quavers are exactly double the speed from the crotchets um, I noticed one or two of my pupils when they first played this they kind of played the dum 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 they got into that okay but then the dub 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 they didn't quite sort of hit the quavers at double the speed from the crotchets so make sure you hit that dum 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 Ba, 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 ba. So make sure those quavers are exactly the speed, double the speed from the crotchets and just learn how it fits with the piano. You might want to write one or two notes or rhythms off the piano part onto your copy and best of luck with that. So have a go at playing along with the accompaniment yourself and see if you can get it really accurate. Um, best of luck for grade one. I'll see you on the next video. Okay, I think that's it for Promenade. I think that's a wrap. I hope you found that video useful. If you did, of course, then click that like button. Let me know how you're getting on in the comments section. And um, if you want to check out my website, there's a link there for my website if you want to contact me. Um, I do lessons at home in Nottingham and also I do lessons through Zoom. So that's it for Promenade. I'll see you again on the next one. Bye.